Welcome back. Today, we're taking a tour of three of the top neighborhoods in Kansas City where you can buy a house somewhere in the $300,000 range. I'm Joe Nelson with the Nelson Home Group, Google's highest rated real estate team in Kansas City. What I wanna show you today is how far you can stretch a $300,000 budget and exactly what kind of home you can expect to get in Kansas City. We have a lot of folks who move here from all over the country, and I think it's interesting to put into perspective that Kansas City is still one of the most affordable places to live in the country. So today, we're gonna to be walking through three neighborhoods from three different corners of the city. We're gonna go through Brook Ridge and Liberty, we're gonna go through Raintree and Lee Summit, and right here, we're at Oak Park in the Overland Park area. One common thread you're gonna see through a lot of these neighborhoods is a split level floor plan. We have a lot of different floor plans here in Kansas City, some of which are your traditional two-story or your ranches, and you're gonna see a few of those in these neighborhoods. A lot of times when we work with clients from other parts of the country, one of the things they find most interesting is all of the different split level variations that we have, and they actually create some really unique layouts and a little bit more cost effective to build, which is why you see them in the more affordable budget ranges. The biggest difference you're gonna see in the three neighborhoods we're gonna to tour today are the ages of the homes. Let's dive in. So the first neighborhood we're gonna start with today is the Oak Park subdivision. Located in Johnson County, Kansas, this is one of the most affordable neighborhoods in the entire county. Johnson County, Kansas is a highly sought after county in the entire state because it puts you right here in the Kansas City Metro, but on the Kansas side. Oak Park is a wildly popular neighborhood and it's situated mostly in Overland Park with a little bit of the subdivision actually stretching into the city of Lenexa. It offers a combo of traditional homes with some modern architecture, but because most of these homes were built in the 60s and 70s, you've got the large mature trees and just a more developed feel. The houses don't feel quite as cookie cutter as they might in some of the newer neighborhoods. You're also gonna hear find top rated schools, there's shopping centers like Oak Park Mall really close. It's actually the largest in the Kansas City Metro as far as indoor malls are concerned. And there's a ton of country clubs nearby. The average sales price of this neighborhood over the last year has been between $340,000 and $375,000. With the split level and multiple story homes, most of the houses in this neighborhood are gonna have three to four bedrooms with two to four bathrooms, and many of the basements will be finished as well. And the nice thing about a finished basement is that it amplifies your storage or creates a really cool space for a second family room or a man cave or whatever. And so you're gonna find a lot of finished basements in this area as well. It's a great affordable option for those who wanna stay closer to the city, they wanna be in Johnson County, but have that $300,000 budget, which is a much more affordable price point for the average person in Kansas City. Another great community to call home in Kansas City in the 300s is Rain Tree Lake. It's actually in Lee Summit, Missouri, on the southeast corner of the city. This lakeside community is a hidden gem in Kansas City. You can actually get lakefront properties with private docks. Now, not in the 300s. Enjoy boating, fishing, or even just a peaceful night in your backyard right by the lake. Residents also have access to a clubhouse, a community pool, and a ton of walking trails. It is an ideal place to stay active and socialize. Now, of course, like I said, it's difficult to find lakefront properties under $400,000, but in the past year, there have been plenty of homes sell in the 325 to $350,000 range. Now, you're still gonna find a variation of floor plans in this neighborhood, but most common, you'll see one and a half story and ranch style homes, all of which have the primary bedroom on the main floor. You're looking at three to five beds and oftentimes three to five bathrooms as well. Great if you want lakeside life with added space. Now, there are some beautiful homes in this neighborhood at a much higher price with many of the modern updates and luxuries. But what you could do is buy into one of the slightly more dated homes, get in the community and fix up the home over time, build some sweat equity. And of course we know 
tons of local professionals that'll be able to help you get all of that work done to your home and you can just upgrade it as you go and be in a very great equity position later down the road. Rain Tree Lake is about 30 minutes from downtown Kansas City, which makes for a convenient drive to the city while keeping a peaceful lakeside atmosphere. You should definitely check it out. Our third and final stop on today's tours of our homes in the $300,000 range is the Brook Ridge subdivision in Liberty, Missouri. It's located just about 20 minutes northeast of downtown and offers some great convenience to the city. This is the newest of the neighborhoods that we toured today with most of these homes being built in the 2000s and early 2010s. While you'll find slightly less mature landscaping than maybe like the Oak Park subdivision, it's still a great neighborhood with beautifully manicured lawns and lots to do. In fact, every May they have a neighborhood garage sale. And what I think is really cool is the following week, they have a free dumpster day provided by the HOA for the homeowners. In the summer, they of course have their community pool open and a clubhouse for residents to use as well as a playground next door. This neighborhood is located in the top rated Liberty School District with a variety of shopping and dining options really just minutes away. In the last year, there have been about 30 homes sell in this neighborhood, mostly ranging between $340,000 and $355,000. You'll find the average house in the neighborhood is going to be three to four bedrooms, two to three bathrooms with mostly finished basements. And again, like the other neighborhoods, you are going to find a variety of split level plans as well as some two story options. There you have it, three awesome neighborhood option spread out all over Kansas City in the $300,000 price range. If you're looking for something newer with a neighborhood pool and a clubhouse, Brook Ridge would be a great option. Of course, if you like the idea of a lake community, Rain Tree is another great choice. And then of course, if you want to land in the Johnson County area, Oak Park is a perfect option in that $300,000 price range. Thanks so much for checking out this video today. If you found it helpful or enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch out for more real estate and Kansas City lifestyle content like this. And of course, if you wanna make a move, I would love it for our team to be your real estate experts of choice. Just check out below, you'll see a name and a phone number. Please don't hesitate to reach out. We'll see you next time.